Hi again, it's Paul from makeyourwebsite.com.au Almost finished our design in artist here, so I'm just going to take you through the final steps just to touch up the last little bits and pieces uh, before we export the design. So a couple other little items that you might want to change the colours of, these hyperlinks here. Okay, so you can just change them through through the articles. We can go to link and change the, the different colours to see whatever colour we want those links to appear. Okay, so what I want is my initial links when they're here to appear as a blue colour. Alright, and the visited link will can stay the same. Alright, and the hovered link just gets rid of that line. Okay, so as I said, there's various options that you can change through Artisty um, that you'll need to just play around with to actually find out how you want the the program to look or how you want your template to look. Okay, so for instance, these bullet points, I can change the picture of those. This is just for a uh, a normal list on my website. So once I do a um, a bulleted list, I might just leave it as uh, as solid dot points there. Okay. Once again, I can control the actual font family of the list. Now this is called a, an unordered list in um, HTML terms. I'll just make that font a touch bigger. Okay, so that's looking pretty good now. So just refreshing what we're aiming for. As you can see, it's the, the website layout that I'm looking for there. Okay, so there's the navigation across the top. You can see there's the secondary menu there. I've got our picture, our image with a nice thick black border. Alright, you can see these items here. So the navigation menu, nice black border around our image. So with the image that I put in, I'll just make it so that it's the size, it fits that size there. So I can edit an image in Photoshop or, or an editing program like that and make sure that it's that size which is about 700 pixels so I'll put a 700 pixel image in in my content area and that'll fit nicely in there okay so what I'm going to do now is just quickly save this so that's saved as a golden point template now obviously as I mentioned earlier if you've got the trial version you won't be able to save however what you will be able to do is click on export so what we're going to do is export the Joomla template, so that's for the standard and trial edition. If you've got the home edition, you'll be able to export a Word WordPress template. Alright, but if you've got the home edition, what you'll need to do is file, save as, save it as the RTX document, and then you'll need to send that through to us from our website. What we'll do is we'll convert that file into a Joomla template for you, and send that back. Okay, but for the home, uh, sorry, for the standard and the trial edition, we'll go to export, export a Joomla template okay and we'll save that as that zip file now if I head over into my file explorer here and you'll see there's the golden point template there that's the zip file so that's all you're saving is that compressed folder that's all we need to do for now for the design side so once you've come up with your design and you've either exported or saved that file what you'll need to do now is just go on with um, lesson or grade three, uh, sorry grade two. Can you go on, set up your hosting, install Joomla on the server, and then in grade three we look at importing this template we've just created into Joomla. All right, so for now that's it, and we'll see you in grade two. Take care. Bye.